the movie Piranha 3D from 2010, which is a sequel of the 1978 and 1981 blockbusters, greatly increased the popularity of these fishes in the 21st century. Never having heard of piranhas is about the same as never having heard about great white sharks. But is the depicted image the actual reality about these legendary fishes? Eh, not really. Indeed, these fishes could create a spectacular sight to behold when engaged in a feeding frenzy, especially when they've been starved or when food is scarce. But they are not so much of the relentless bloodthirsty devil often depicted by Hollywood and the media. We will get to that part later. But for now, let us consider just how big and intimidating these fishes really are. It is not uncommon to hear stories of piranhas' insatiable appetite and powerful bite force, which Theodore Roosevelt claimed are capping and snapping off a finger. Piranhas are fishes with variations in size and weight based on the species. Oftentimes, they grow to be up to 40 centimeters or 1.3 feet long and often do not weigh more than 7 pounds, just a little over 3 kilograms. While the total number of species is still a debate, there are at least 30 species of piranhas categorized into 12 different scientific families. Of all these species, two stands out being the biggest and most ferocious. These are the San Francisco piranha, Pygocentris pirea, which is popularly known as the black piranha, and the red-bellied piranha, Pygocentris naturari. While the former is notorious for being the largest, the latter is notorious for being the most aggressive. Collectively, both species are considered the most aggressive toward humans. These two species and at least 18 others inhabit the fresh waters of rivers, streams, and lakes in South America. They are native to central and southern rivers of South America ranging from Argentina all the way to Colombia. Given the perfect tropical temperature and its perfectly suitable marine conditions, the Amazon River is home to a plentiful population of piranhas of diverse species. It is, however, not uncommon to find sparse populations of these fishes in continents other than South America. It is believed that such piranhas were pet fishes which were released into water channels possibly by mistake or when the owner's aquarium became too small to accommodate the fish. Did you know that importation and ownership of a piranha as a pet is either restricted or outright illegal in some countries? In the United States of America, for example, piranhas are either restricted or totally banned in 25 U.S. states. Can you guess just how long these legendary fishes have been around in South American waters? According to fossils, contemporary species of piranha that we know today have been around since 1.8 million years ago. But if you think that is ancient, Wait till you discover that there are piranha fossils that date back as far as 25 million years ago. In fact, according to a BBC News article published in 2018, there was a particularly ancient fossilized remain that has the same teeth configuration with modern piranhas. This fossil was excavated in South Germany and dates back as far as 150 million years ago. With an existence spanning millions of years, it's no wonder why myths and stories about these fishes have become legends, especially in the Amazon. Piranhas usually can live up to 8 to 10 years and even more. Other sources even claim that some piranha species can live up to 30 years, but that's debatable. However, with a lifespan that long, what exactly does it feed on? Would it interest you to know that not all piranhas are carnivores as often exaggerated by the movies? Some are omnivores while some other species are exclusively herbivores. The carnivorous piranhas, which many people would prefer calling true piranhas, have an appetite for a huge variety of animals, including shrimps, worms, crustaceans, amphibians, mollusks, fishes, carrion, insects, and even rodents. The vegetarian piranhas feed on plant matter, fruits, and seeds. Would a piranha attack and feed on a human being? Well, the answer is somewhat a complicated yes and no. While it is rare, piranhas may attack a human being when they are starved, such as whenever the water is low and food is scarce, and secondly, when they feel that their spawn is being threatened. While humans are far down the list on their menu, there are reports of piranhas eating humans. 
In such cases, it is often that such victims are dead and or drowned already before the piranhas nibble at the corpse. One of such special cases is a BBC News report in 2015 which stated that earlier that year on the afternoon of January 27th, a Brazilian girl was found dead in Monte Alegre after being surrounded and devoured by a large shoal of piranhas. It was said that a canoe containing the girl, her grandmother, and four other kids capsized. The granny was able to rescue the four other kids, but not the girl. She must have drowned. It was possibly after she drowned and was dead before the shoal of piranhas set to work since they are scavengers often described as vultures of the sea. So to our earlier question, yes, piranhas would eat human, especially corpses but would rarely attack an adult and one that is alive and kicking except when provoked. As said, the red-bellied piranhas are especially notorious for being the most aggressive toward humans. Apart from when food is scarce and their spawn is disturbed, they are also incited to attack by the smell of blood as they can detect a single drop of blood in 200 liters or 53 gallons of water. Other causes of provocation include noise such as splashing in the river and pouring food or fishes into the water. Interestingly, did you know that piranhas do make three sounds, including bark-like sounds, in order to intimidate an opposing fish? After the quick calls or barks, they then emit low grunts and, as a last resort, they gnash their teeth and then chase their opponent. Piranhas are often preyed upon by larger predators like caimans, storks, egrets, crocodiles, turtles, river dolphins, and of course, humans. According to scientists, the habit of piranhas to live and move in groups of shoals is more of a defense mechanism than a predatory mechanism since piranhas are generally considered as shy fishes. Based on observations of shoals, weaker, older, larger, and slow-moving piranhas are often at the center of the shoal formation. Though the International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, does not list piranhas in its database, these fishes are considered not endangered since there is no obvious decline in their population. In fact, it is partly because of their invasive nature and tendency to quickly multiply that makes them illegal in some U.S. states. For at least two centuries, piranhas have continually been labeled as fearsome predatory fish. This stems from local myths, Hollywood, and a little help from the 26th President of the United States of America, Theodore Roosevelt, who gave these fishes a bad reputation in his book as a result of the spectacular feeding frenzy he witnessed among deliberately starved piranhas on his visit to Brazil in 1913. While these fishes are usually shy and wouldn't ordinarily attack humans, you should really be careful and stay away from the carnivorous ones, especially from the red-bellied and black piranha. They are wild animals after all, and they pack a nasty bite. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, ring the bell icon for notifications, and comment below.